How are the idlis? Okay. Shall we? You know, it's very strange that I find myself in, uh, in front of uh, engineering students today. You all say, are you advertising? <laughs> what did he have studied? Uh, the media industry has a very, very bad perception, especially in Chennai, where you think uh, it's a very small industry. So before I start, my, my speech is going to talk mainly about uh, the future of advertising, the changes and trends in media, and the future of media where it can be used. But before that, I'd like to just show you a few figures so you know how big the media industry in India is. The Indian media industry was 587 billion rupees big. In 2011, it's 738 billion rupees. And by 2015, it's going to be 1,214 billion rupees big. And that's, I'll just give you some perspective. Uh, 738 billion rupees is more than the GDP of 35 countries in the world. And 1,214 billion rupees will be more than the GDP of 50 countries in this world. So the next time you make fun of someone who is in the media or advertising industry, think again. So you're asking where does advertising fit into this picture? Apart from other revenue sources, around 42 to 50 percent of revenue in that 1,000 crores, 1,000 uh, billion, sorry, come from advertising. Uh, big brands investing heavily in media. Uh, in Hindustan, Unilever, for example, invests about 2,000 crores a year on advertising their toothpaste, their soaps, you know, diapers, whatever. But 2,000 crores, and that's a lot of money. And this is a very important statement. Advertising is as important as the content. Many of you would sit in front of your TV today and uh, while the ads come, you'd be like, ah, I hate this. Too many ads. Sun TV plays too many ads. I can't watch my match properly. But little do you realize that if not for advertising, there will be no content. Because who is going to pay for your programs to be made? Who is going to pay for live telecasts? So this is just a small defense in the field of advertising. Don't crib about advertising. If not for us, you're not going to have any content. This is a worldwide survey where you can see TV, print, all media are losing the time spent by the people. The audiences are, n are moving away from television, from print, from magazines, and everyone in the world, including all of you who are tasting some really stupid stuff there, everyone's moving online, except in India, where as long as your mother, my aunt, everyone is going to watch Chellame and Chitti, TV will still do well. But worldwide trends say that everyone's moving online. What the internet has done, or what it's doing, is it saying that it's taking away the middleman. Now, who's the middleman? The middleman is me, the person who works in the ad agency, uh, the media agency. He's taking away the role of the, of the middleman who, earlier, when there was an advertising campaign, We'd say we have churned out an advertising campaign for you right now. Uh, we'll come back to you about what the consumer thinks about the campaign, whether they're buying your products. But now, no longer, that doesn't happen anymore. And the reason for that is I'll explain it to you in a way that you guys will understand. Uh, Sonia Gandhi, right? Manmohan Singh, and that's the common man. Now, Sonia Gandhi is the brand. Manmohan Singh is me, and uh, that gentleman there is the consumer. Now what is happening is, right now Sonia Gandhi is the brand. She hired Manmohan Singh to talk to the consumer because of various reasons she can't. Let's leave that. But what is happening is, just imagine, just imagine if Sonia Gandhi could directly speak to the consumer, then she'd no, no longer need Manmohan Singh and that's exactly what's happening. Brands are moving to talk to the consumer directly and brands will continue to do that unless they have some uh, conspicuous Italian background, brands will do that. They're no longer selling, they're connecting with their audience. They're no longer large campaigns of, of television commercials. It's small acts that make big difference. Uh, it's, it's no longer controlling the message, it's transparency to the audience and they're available everywhere. I'll explain this with this. Uh, it's Axe Angel Club on Facebook. Uh, this is a simple example of how they're connecting with the audience. Um, yeah, 
see? Now, the, these series of pictures here will pull in the audience required for acts. Agreed? The next thing, create a flag. What are they doing? It's a small act. It's not a big campaign. But they're connecting with the audience. They're making the audience a part of acts. They're making him feel that he is wanted by acts. And this is how marketing and advertising are going to move over the next few years. It's no longer going to be big campaigns with huge television commercials. It's going to be small acts like this that are going to make a big difference. It's about who and not how many. Over the years, marketing has been how many people did you reach? Uh, how many people buy your product? But now the question has changed. It's who have you reached and, and who is buying your product? Uh, ever since Facebook entered, it's been a lot easier for them to target the consumer. They get to uh, find out so many details about the consumers. Uh, because all of you put all your details on Facebook. And uh, I'll just uh, narrate a couple of instances. There have been uh, some critical remarks on Facebook saying they're selling photos. Uh, how they sell photos is a photo of you with your friends chilling in Goa. I know what kind of t-shirt you wear. I know what kind of shoes you wear. I know what beer you drink. I know who your girlfriend is. I know who your friend's girlfriend is. So basically, they sell these pictures to brands who require this, and then they target you. They also sell it to a woman in the US found her photo in an online dating service saying, come contact me. It was her photo in it. Uh, also, there's a very funny incident about Facebook. There was this uh, married man, and he went to one of these online buying websites. He bought a ring, and it was connected to his Facebook. So his status was, John just bought a ring, a diamond ring. His wife didn't receive the ring the next day, or the next day, and then she realized what's happening, and then they split. So, <laughs> Facebook is a very dangerous thing. I'll just show you a uh, few examples. So this is an average person's Facebook page, as you all know, books, quotes, movies, TV shows, music, activities. I know this person without knowing this person. I know what this person is going to buy. But there are also uh, some problems. Have you guys seen this person? He's a rapper from Patna. Yo, me don't know, you don't know, please don't go, please don't go, I play Coco, yo. How, how do you target that person? How do you target that person? Okay. This is the last trend I'm going to talk about advertising. Print media is going to die. And we all know it. The internet, it's like Sachin. It's like Sachin right now. It was big when it was there. It was a huge thing. And it's in its last thing. So we're just letting him try to score his last 100th 100 and then say bye-bye. So that's where print media is right now. This is a statement by Marshall McLuhan. He's one of my favorite media theorists. He said the medium is the message. Uh, the message is not as important as the medium itself. Each medium has inherent capabilities. Uh, for instance, a breaking news. You're hearing it from your mother's mouth, from your friend, from a television channel, on Facebook, on Twitter. The way you perceive each message will be different. The trust you have with each message will be different. And it's important for marketers and advertisers alike to, to, to determine which medium to use perfectly. Uh, we'll just look at the main changes and trends in media. Uh, what this has done, social media entering in every sphere of media, what it has done, it's taken the control away from advertisers and, and, and marketers. It's given the power to the people. It's moved from mass media to user-generated content. Most of the content online today is generated by you people. What this does, it, 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 it has a small problem with it. Uh, people upload pornography. People upload filthy information, unwanted details, and which is why some governments are trying to shut down Facebook, etc. But my, my theory to that is, as long as there's a demand, there will be a supply. So as long as there's a need for pornographic material online, people will upload pornographic material, and you can't help it, whatever you do. Uh, media, uh, social media changed, uh, so, I'm sorry, social media changed social behavior. One in nine marriages in the US are out of Facebook, and one in 15 divorces are because of stuff that happened in Facebook. Uh, people say, Facebook me, parents talking to each other uh, over Facebook, Recently, we were having dinner at home, 
and uh, some joke happened and my brother looked at me and said lol <laughs> i mean <laughs> they've even forgotten the the way to laugh facebook is like crack cocaine we need it we long for it and when we don't have it we have withdrawal symptoms don't we all and it's exactly like uh, crack cocaine and i'm not saying this because i feel it that way it's been proven there is a disease that has been found in us and uk it's called fad facebook addiction disorder uh, they put some people in a lab and found out that the biological and chemical reactions in the body when you look at a facebook site is the same as you get when you're on cocaine so uh, i'm not sure how many of you have fad over here it's brilliant you guys should go on it it's a facebook page of the chennai city traffic police they have complaints they have traffic analysis it tells you where traffic is going it has fines it has pictures of the people they're taking fines from complete transparency and connecting with the audience like i said governance is a, is another field where we can use social media jan 25th so this person called khalid said right he was killed by the egyptian police they started a facebook page and this facebook page started a complete revolution government blocked twitter then they blocked the internet but they found ways out and finally when they blocked everything google stepped in what did google do they started something called speak to tweet so people in egypt could speak into their phone and automatically it would get tweeted like this a whole revolution a, a 30 year old regime was thrown over thrown thrown down in 18 days thanks to twitter and facebook we have huge potential but again with caution it can't go into wrong hands you can't overthrow good governments you can't overthrow because you don't like someone but it is very powerful in terms of political and uh there's a video but we'll go on go on go on go on. uh we'll we'll move to education um back sorry this is something that uh, i feel deeply about because when i was in um, in in india and getting educated i was just mugging i was not learning i was learning all these names but i never really understood what they looked like this is a extract excerpt from the seventh standard textbook jackals foxes scorpions what is acacia i have no idea but then use mass media get get people can you play that video that passage the same passage in video form it is a world of extremes of the great sahara of extremes a place long dismissed as a wasteland hostile to life yet it hides a secret world a world of the wily and the wondrously adapted it is a world of myths and mirages the world of the great sahara do you see how much of an impact that would make on a student's life he knows exactly what they're talking about when you have visuals when you use mass media also there's two more two more points i'd like to make yeah two just two more points i'd like to make about education this is the thing i found on online this is a brilliant way to teach students social media use facebook that's chemistry having a conversation with carbon dioxide uh, and and finally uh, there's this game called angry birds very stupid game parents keep making fun of why people play this game and then i found it on a physics question paper i mean this is genius give students don't crib about the media but embrace it and finally you have not seen the future today you are constantly